So this is an RTL SDR dongle. And what it does is it acts as a software-defined radio receiver. In this video, we're going to connect it to a Raspberry Pi 3B+. And we're going to use that to pick up radio waves or frequencies being transmitted locally. So this is the desktop for the Raspberry Pi. We're just running a recent release of Raspbian. We can check that by opening a terminal and issuing a command called cat slash etsy slash os dash release. Once I press enter, you'll see information about the version of Raspbian that we're running. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that our repository information is up to date on our Raspberry Pi. So we execute a command called sudo apt-git space update. And this pulls information from the internet software repositories down to the local machine to make sure we have the latest versions of software. It's a good idea to perform this action anytime you're doing any updates or installations of new software on your Raspberry Pi. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because it does take a little bit of time. Once this is done, you're going to execute another command. It's sudo apt-git upgrade. And this will upgrade any software that's already installed on a Raspberry Pi to the latest version. This takes a very long time in some cases, depending upon the last time you upgraded. Once you execute the command, it'll tell you how much disk space will be utilized, and you can answer yes or no. I picked yes because I got plenty of disk space. So you can see it running through, and then when it's finished, we're going to begin installing a software program called GQRX. It's a software receiver that will work with the RTL STR dongle to act as a complete software defined radio environment. Okay, now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to reboot the Raspberry Pi to make sure that we start off with a freshly booted environment. Now it's time to install GQRX. In order to do this, we're going to go to the GQRX website, specifically with the Raspberry Pi installation. I'll include a link below. When we're on the web page, you can see the installation instructions. They look pretty straightforward. Download the package, unpack the package, install the dependencies. Uh, it says they're included in the README text and install the UDEV rules for the SDR device that you want to use. Clicking this link will download the software installation package. It's going to download it to my downloads folder on my Raspberry Pi. Once the download's complete, I'm going to browse to my downloads folder. And I'm going to unzip the installation package. I'm just going to drag and drop the contents of the installation package into my downloads folder and I'm going to run the software from there. Now you can see in my downloads folder that I actually have the directory with the installation files. Opening up the readme text will give me further instructions. If you scroll about halfway down you'll see the first thing is sudo apt update. We used apt git Apt is another version of the application managing uh, tool, application packaging tool, I think. I'm not 100% sure what it stands for. Anyhow, I'm just going to go with the second command, which is going to install some software and some libraries. I'm going to highlight that, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it into a terminal window. This is also going to be sped up because it can take a little while depending upon your internet speed. Once the first command has been executed and completed, I'm going to go back to the README folder and I'm going to copy the second one, which is going to install some further software. Again, I'm going to speed this up because it takes a little bit of time to get through this process. Just a simple quick copy and then back to the terminal window to paste.
Now that everything's been installed, the last step is to copy the UDEV rules. I'm going to go ahead and get the command to do this from the README file. In order to do this, I need to go to the GQRX directory inside the directory where I unpacked the installation package. I'm going to navigate to the GQRX folder through the command line interface in the terminal window. Now I'm going to run the command to start GQRX. This is just a test to see if it runs and that everything was installed correctly. Here I get my IO input dialog box where I can pick the type of SDR receiver that I'm using. I'm just going to click OK because I want to see if the application loads. And it does. Let's do some further configuration and playing around and see if we can pick up any kind of frequencies or transmissions. I do need to go into File, IO Devices, and then from the drop down, I need to pick my RTL SDR dongle. And it's about two thirds down. I go ahead and I select that. And then I click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and click the play icon in the upper left hand quadrant. This will start my SDR radio. The first thing I want to test is I want to see if I can pick up a local NOAA broadcast. Winds may gust up and it looks to 50 like miles an hour. Day is two through seven, Tuesday through Sunday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation is not expected at this time. And now a special weather statement from your National Weather Service. There are a lot of configuration settings and adjustments that need to be made in order to fine tune your signal and reduce background noise. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. I really just wanted to show the installation process. Next, let's tune in some broadcast FM frequencies ago uh, to see the troops they were in absolute bananas and uh, i was talking to joe about that on fox news a couple of nights back and uh, joe is now going to demonstrate his media versatility by moving from television to radio and he's going to talk about some of the big and that's really it folks if you have any questions go ahead and post them below and i'll do my best to answer them if you're more interested in seeing videos on gqrx i can probably do that as well just let me know anyhow thanks for watching everybody i really appreciate it Go ahead and click the like button or subscribe if you want to see more content of a similar nature.